Despite years of U.S. sanctions, Iran's military-industrial complex continues to develop its own weapons systems. A video appeared on the web, in which the Iranians showed the launch of unusual gliding ammunition from the old Soviet Su-22 fighter bombers, export version of the Su-17, with the R-29 BS-300 aircraft engine. The video shows how Iranian Su-22s take off into the sky. Then the bombs are separated from the underwing points of the suspension, their folding wings open, and the ammunition flies to the target, using vertical and horizontal control planes along the way, for more accurate destruction. We remind you that at the end of October in Iran, a major exercise of the country's Air Force Fadi and e Haram e Velayat, defenders of the powers sky, ended, during which the aforementioned air to surface ammunition was used. Then the new planning Iranian bombs used outdated Chinese made F 7 fighters, a copy of the Soviet MiG 21. In the drill in 2017, the name Yasin bomb was first mentioned. Although no image was released, it was announced that an F-7 fighter had successfully tested the 60-kilometer bomb. With the official unveiling of the Yasin bomb in 2019, this bomb was added to the list of operational weapons of the fighter bombers of the Iranian Armed Forces. Yasin bomb is a long-range guided bomb that can be dropped from a distance of 60 kilometers and aimed at the target and hit it. In addition, it can be used in all weather conditions, day and night. Installation on manned and unmanned aircraft, increasing the security and safety of the system and the ability to perform operations in the short and long range are other features of this smart bomb. The Yasin bomb's long-range bombing capability means that its carrier aircraft can operate from almost any short-range air defense system and part of the middle-range defense systems and attack its target. This ability is especially effective in attacking the targets of terrorist groups equipped with short-range air defense systems. Of course, by adding laser, optical, or propulsion systems to the Yasin bomb, its accuracy can be increased, and it can even be used to engage moving targets over 100 kilometers away. The bomb flight computer provides the pilot with the speed and altitude required to release the bomb from the fighter by performing automatic calculations. The target point coordinates are first loaded on the bombing computer by the operator, and then the pilot is given the speed and height of release. After dropping the Yasin bomb from the carrier plane, the folding wings open, and the bomb flies to the target point, correcting its path to hit the target accurately. The advantage of using the Yasin bomb is the ability to carry out operations outside the enemy's defenses. This means that the fighter will be able to destroy its target without being exposed to the danger of being hit by the enemy's medium-range defense systems. Another feature of the Yasin bomb is its operational capability in different weather conditions and all day and night. F-4 and F-5 fighter bombers equipped with precision-guided missiles, and the F-7 fighter jet equipped with homegrown Yasin-90 standoff missile and domestically produced rockets, successfully destroyed vital mock enemy targets on land and at sea during the operational phase of the 10th edition of Fedayan e Haram e Veliad aerial exercise. The bomb's latest test range, previously announced at 60 kilometers, has been increased to 100 kilometers during the exercise, making it fully capable of conducting offensive operations outside the enemy's defense range. And the primary and operational phase exercise, which was held last month, 
The vital targets of the hypothetical enemy were destroyed by an F-7 fighter using a Yasin-90 bomb. The IRIF strategic Sukhoi Su-24 bombers also carried out surprise long-range operations, hitting vital targets, as well as ground radars of the hypothetical enemy, using optimized laser and radar-equipped missiles. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made great progress in developing and manufacturing a broad range of domestically produced equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient in this regard. Iranian officials have repeatedly underscored that the Islamic Republic will not hesitate to build up its defense capabilities, emphasizing such abilities are entirely meant for the purpose of defense and will be never subject to negotiations. According to Vahedi, Mirage F-1 fighters and F-4 bombers flew at low altitudes and successfully practiced air interception operations, while accompanied by F-14 fighters. Also, F-5 and MiG-29 fighters conducted air combat operations, during which the missile fired by the mock enemy aircraft was tracked and destroyed by air-to-air -air missiles, the commander added. The exercise came a week after the IRIF and the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps IRGC, S Aerospace Division staged joint military drills in central Iran, during which they unveiled new homegrown air defense systems. During the drills, codenamed Madafi and Aceman Belayat 1400, Guardians of Belayat Sky 1400, the air forces conducted defensive maneuvers in the service of the country's sensitive and vital spots and tested the operational maneuverability of Iran's homegrown defensive equipment among other things. The maneuvers are aimed at assessing the combat capabilities of IRIF units, increasing preparedness of interceptors, practicing the implementation of reconnaissance and operational plans, and establishing a right model that would suit real-life battle. The long-range endurance of the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force fighter jets outside their defensive spheres, pinpoint accuracy of bombs and rockets in air-to-surface strikes as well as surveillance of the operational zone, would be put to test during the massive drills.